Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I want to talk about discipline, having self-discipline. I've conquered a lot of battles in my life. I've had a lot of hurdles to get over. I could go down a long list of shit. If you've watched some of my videos, you probably already know, but I've had drug addiction and alcohol addiction. I've conquered that successfully. Never relapsed once. It's been 20 years now I've been sober. Conquered uh, and managed, I successfully managed PTSD. If you have PTSD out there and you're struggling from it and you think that it's impossible, it's not impossible. I've done it. And I have a system that is successful to help manage PTSD. I did a 20 minute video on it, step by step of what I do. You can go find it, subscribe to my channel. It works for me. And I used to be pretty bad and I used to destroy my life through being triggered. I could get triggered. People use that as this catch thing nowadays, PTSD. When we talk about being triggered, it's a whole different thing that what you guys on social media are talking about. I could get fucked up by some shit and bam, I would turn into that other me. And you know what, you're talk you know what I'm talking about if you have PTSD. And I would be fucked up for months. Sometimes a year, two years go by, I'd still be in that mode. I wouldn't have snapped out of it yet. I finally learned how to take control. I finally learned how to cage that beast. And it doesn't come out anymore. Now maybe I might get a little weird for an hour instead of a month or six months. It all boils down to discipline. Become an incredibly disciplined person. And that takes a little bit of, uh, to cultivate. It's going to take a lot of work. But you got to start somewhere. So pick one thing. Wake up early. Wake up real early and wake up at that time every day, seven days a week. Do that relentlessly. Some days it's going to feel hard. Some days you're going to just be like, uh, especially on the days that you don't have to go do anything. It's easy when you cut it real close and you're like, uh, I got to go to work at seven. So I'll wake up at six fifty-eight and shit shower and shave, grab some, uh, uh, you know, uh, a granola bar and run out of the house and stop all that. That's not discipline. You're not going to go through life in desperation, creating anxiety for, for yourself. You're going to go through life empowered, creating calm. You're going to be a calm warrior walking through a battlefield. And that is possible. You're going to keep your wits about you. You're never going to get lost in the experience. You're going to be the observer. It's possible. I'm doing it. It starts with discipline. Wake up early. Seven days a week. Pick a time early. If you say you got to leave the house at seven, you got to get to work at, you know, whatever time, commute, commute across town. Wake up at five. Wake up two hours early. Your first two hours are going to be your mind, body, and soul uh, opportunity. This is the opportunity that you get to fill your cup and you get to work on yourself before the light comes up, before people are up, before the world is up, before the helicopters are on your block, before the you know sirens are going off, uh, the, before the freeway starts making noise, whatever it is that society reminds you of, okay, I got shit to do. You wake up early enough and you, you work on you. Being self-disciplined in all aspects, aspects of your life will keep you from those behaviors that were ruining your life. So how do you not relapse with drug addiction? How have I not, I've never once relapsed. I've, I've, I've relapsed, I've been sober for 20 years. Never once have I ever relapsed, not once. And it's because I've had self-discipline. I've learned to listen to that voice inside me that says, no, 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 you don't. Uh-uh. You know, some people don't even hear that voice. They hear that voice after the fact. Then, you know, then the next day they sober up and they're like, oh man, that's when their true self comes out and they, they, they get really down on themselves. And you should be down on yourself in that scenario because you fucked up, but you don't have to fuck up. You can catch it beforehand. And it takes just really paying attention to the voices in your head, getting rid of the ones that don't say the shit you need to hear, getting rid of all the bullshit. There's so much chatter and you can have multiple voices. Get rid of all of it and just listen to the one, the helpful one. That's the real you. That's the one that's going to help you get through. That's the one that's going to help you be disciplined. It's going to stay, help you stay on course. You'll find that you know, you may need a trainer. You say you go to the gym. You may need a trainer in the beginning. I'm not against trainers. Trainers are wonderful and will get you in amazing shape. And they'll help you with your diet and all kinds of things. Trainers are great. 
But when you learn to become self-disciplined, you realize I'm paying this guy for nothing. I, I can do this myself. I'm doing this myself. And the, it's that voice inside you that guides you. So cultivate that. Give yourself little things to do each day and stay with those, you know, and create a schedule and stay on that schedule. Even if it's the most basic stuff, it will train your body to be able, and your mind to be able to take the next step forward. So get up on time every single day, seven days a week. Force yourself to do it. Brush your teeth at the same time. Eat breakfast at the same time. Eat lunch at the same time. Put these things on your schedule. Basic stuff like that. So all of a sudden you have a structure for your day. You have a beginning, a middle, of a, and an end for each day. At the end of every day, go to bed at the same time. Get a good amount of sleep. You know, don't just stay up all night long worrying. Learn to take control of some of those voices. You can, I have many videos about this stuff, so you can scroll through my uh, channel and, and look at some of these things. You, know, you have to learn how to get on top of your self-talk, and that's a whole other topic. But being self-disciplined helps you to take control of your mind. A lot of us feel like we're out of control. And you can't steer a ship, you can't drive a car, you, you, you can't go in a, in, in a forward-moving direction when you're out of control. If you have goals and you see the light at the end of the tunnel, how are you going to get there if you're out of control? You may never get there. Well, all of a sudden you realize that when you become a disciplined person, reaching goals becomes a lot easier. And it also clears your mind up where you can see which goals are more important. Sometimes through a clouded mind, we can, you know, be fantasizing off in Never Never Land, like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. And you kind of have to snap out of that. Some of that is maturity, but a lot of that is self-discipline. I know people that are 10 years older than me, and you talk to them about their goals, and sometimes it sounds like you're talking to a small child. You just want to be like, what are you talking about? What kind of weird fantasy world? You think we're at Disneyland? I'm trying to ask you a real fucking question. Snap out of this shit. You're talking like a little boy. And you realize this person has no discipline in their life at all. They can't even focus their mind in a, in, in a certain way. So one thing leads to the other. So if, if you start off by just getting up early, give yourself little things, give yourself a schedule and stick to it religiously, you'll find that you're training your brain in a certain way to where you're able to apply that same type of mentality, that same type of discipline towards your work, towards your social life, your, your work, your social life, other aspects, your, your self-work, your self-growth, your personal growth. All this stuff moves, starts moving forward incrementally through discipline. It's a good gift to give yourself. In fact, it's the greatest gift that you could ever give yourself. The best thing that you can ever do for yourself is to be disciplined. And if you have kids, I don't like to give parenting advice because I don't have kids. But if you have kids, give them structure and discipline. Teach them this. That is the one lesson that they will take with them their entire lives. And it will be profound. I did not have that kind of discipline when I was a kid. I was raised by a liberal hippie who gave me no leash, no curfew, no rules. I could literally do whatever I want. You had to be home at a certain time, not me. I, I could do whatever I want, whenever I want. There was never any punishment. I never had any structure. I never had any rules. I could do whatever I want through my whole growing up. And by the time I got 18, by the time I got out on, on my own, I graduated high school, I went homeless. I was a horrible failure at learning how to survive. I had no skills. I had no discipline. I didn't know even the most basic stuff. So, you know, if you're a highly disciplined individual, this video is useless to you. You've wasted 10 minutes of your life. But there's a lot of people out there that aren't. I know I wasn't. I was an incredibly frazzled person. I just felt like a snowball rolling down a hill. I just felt like a, a, a butterfly in the wind. And I had no direction and no ability to control my life. And every single day felt like a whirlwind. It felt like a roller coaster ride. At the end of every day, I would just feel so beaten down and defeated and just be like, ah, oh, goddamn. And then the next day would start all over again. It would just be like 
you know, a pinball and a machine. I had no, I had no direction and no control. And it was just all, all of it was because of my lack of self-discipline. It will change your life in all kinds of ways. Not just simply being able to get through the day and being productive. Productivity is incredibly important. Have a productive day and then have another one after it. And the next thing you know, you look back and you've had a productive week and then a productive month and you're like, fuck, I've gotten more done this month than in my last two years. You can change your whole life in one day. I've done it. Make a decision and be like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And bam, by the end of the day, you're sitting there laughing and being like, damn. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I had one existence and now life is completely different. So the point is, is that you're never stuck. You don't have to be stuck in the wind like a, a, a feather. You know, you can be a rock. You can be solid. And that solidity comes from discipline. Thanks for watching.